right, here's a video review for Cyberverse Spark Armor Prowl with Cosmic Patrol. Check your targets. Resets are happening. Toys are showing up. Siege figures are showing up. Rainmakers. Keep an eye out. Anyway, here's Spark Armor Prowl from Cyberverse. These are the still the smaller. I'm trying to think of what class, battle class. I can't remember what these are called. There's an elite class, which is taller. But uh, these are the smaller ones. And Prowl's actually pretty good. Now... He comes with Cosmic Patrol, his little drone, much like Skybite's Driller Drive. And he's a police car. Now, from the front, not too bad. From the side, starting to be a little bit, and from the back, no paint. Like, I would have liked, they already have all this blue up here, and I would have liked, at the very least, I would have liked this back window to be blue. And I don't think, maybe I'll get lucky, but I doubt Toy Hacks is going to make a set for this guy. <laughs> but, uh... But it would have been nice, like I said, ideally, blue window to match the rest of these, and then, at the very least, a black stripe here, maybe a black stripe with police and big block white letters. You wouldn't even have to, like, you just put the black and then cut out the letters uh, on the sides of the car. And that would make me happy. Um, as it is, um, it's not horrible. Like, I, I'm not expecting a figure this size and class. They're simpler than uh, Studio Series and Siege, you know, the collector lines. But the thing is, with Skybite, he doesn't have many paint apps either, but he is, uh, a lot of his bits have a bunch of detail on them, and so it makes up for that, whereas Prowl has a lot of very smooth surfaces, and so that lack of paint is more obvious. If I thought I could, if I could mix up a really nice uh, light blue paint, maybe I'd do, redo these windows and then paint the back windows to match, because really, that would make me happy. More police detailing on the side here would make me even happier. But specific, and that might be able to do with like some repro labels from another set. Maybe there's a Prowl that has a police logo that might fit there. But um, but regardless, those back windows being painted is really my major issue with this thing. He kind of feels like you can see him all folded up in there. Uh, I almost feel like I should be st sticking him in a Pretender shell. He kind of has that feel, a little bigger than that. But he he, he reminds me a lot of Pretender Jazz. Yeah, so Arius is basic and his little Cosmic Patrol space jet fighter type dude. Um, and to transform him, I'm going to go ahead and bring his arms up. Straight up like this. And then out to the side. And then rotate them around. So they're facing forward. And there is his arms out. Go ahead and pop the doors out. There's a little tab in the back. You want to make sure it comes loose. Uh, flip the legs down and around. Make sure you click them all the way in to lock into place. It makes them a little bit more stable. Split them apart and then fold the hood down. And then this piece, you can leave it sticking straight up, but you want to fold it all the way back. I like that it folds. That's nice. And there's Prowl. And again, some blue down here on the windows would be nice. Uh, something on the shoulders, or even if there was the black on the door, would make him pop a little better. He's very plain. Uh, at least in his base robot mode, he's very plain here. He does not have any head movement. Um, now, apparently the larger sizes like Bumblebee and Prime and Megatron um, and Cheetor, I know the Prime at least, his base robot head can turn, and even with the armor on, the armor has a rotating head, and the head rotates inside of it, um, so you can still turn his head in, in armored mode. But no head. Uh, he's got a ball joint at the shoulder, and then a swivel there, um, just a hinge at the elbow ball joint hips and he has a hinge at the knee but um it's really meant to lock into place to, to to keep him upright just balance issue wise the doors can swing i wish the doors were not the doors either are straight back or they will pop to oh, oh. see now what i get this door to do that oh i can earlier those were not staying angled like that i prefer them to be angled like that but they do even then it doesn't take much of a bump for them to kind of snap up and lock there's a ridge there that wants to make them pop straight out to the side which is good for the armor, but for the base robot mode, it would be nice if they angled a little bit. Angled just a little bit. Anyhow, yeah, there he is on the back. Now, as Cosmic Patrol, go ahead and pop these off. Open up the armor and pull the front piece off, kind of like the drill. And then this piece, you fold this down, peg it on to his chest, fold it down over his head. This folds down and actually pegs into the front of the robot mode. 
this panel folds up and uh, this panel comes down and folds all the way down around on his back. And then you can attach the uh, wing arms to his the wing cannon type things to his arms. And then the front end goes into his hand like a little cannon, a little gun. And there is his, he kind of looks like a Russian police guy uh, with his helmet here. But yeah, it goes on like that. And there he is, this. Now, his little missile launchers, and this is kind of nice, those shoulder launchers, actually are on a hinge, so you can angle them to wherever you like, which kind of, like, completes the prowl look. He doesn't have them in his base robot mode, but then when he armors up, he has his shoulder launchers. And the same posability in this mode. You really don't lose a whole lot, although you may want to bring the doors back if you bring the arms forward on the hinge. And again, very stable and secure. Now, what's fun about this, let's go ahead and pop him back down to his base mode. Pop off his armor here. Now, see, now, I don't know if this is supposed to come off or if this should have been glued on and wasn't, because uh, the helmet does like to come out of the frame. It's very easy to sit back in. There's some very obvious square tabs in there, and this just kind of slides up in there. I can't think of a reason for it to come. Oh, you know what? Let's see what it looks like on him without without the helmet. I didn't even think about that. The instructions don't show it coming off. But yeah, so if you do that, it kind of looks like a basic... I was, I was considering gluing that on, but now that I see you can kind of give him his shoulder armor, he looks slightly armored up. Yeah, of course, you got this, but you want more of a traditional prowl look. That's kind of cool. Again, don't know if that's intentional or if I just got a defective unglued one. But, oh well. Here he is with Skybite, roughly the same size. I got Skybite, I really like Skybite, and then of the ones that are out, I'm like, I need an Autobot for him to fight in the size class with the armor. So I got Prowl, because I like Prowl. But uh, something you will see is, and it looks like this is true for the Elites as well. I've seen pictures of, of Bumblebee wearing Prime's jet. But um, you can actually, if you want to, the armor on these smaller guys all seems to be interchangeable. Now, this doesn't lock onto his chest the way that it wraps around his shark head, but it pegs in fairly securely. And you can put that on, attach the wheels to Prowl's arms, give him the drill weapon. So Prowl can wear Skybite's armor and vice versa. You can uh, you bring his back wings down this on, hold it down, again, this, this won't fold over his shark nose, it kind of sticks out to the front, but you can uh, bring this around, now he's got shoulder launchers, put the, uh, these sit a little higher up, his, his peg holes on his forearms are a little higher than they are on prowls, but you can give him the wing jets, actually those are on the wrong side, we should have the yellow facing forward. Ball joints are a pain. Close that down. Oh, his, his helmet came off. But because the, the helmets are open-topped, it will fit over his, his fin there. There you go. And then you can give him the weapon. And there is Skybite wearing Prowl's armor. So you can swap the armors around on these guys. Personally, I think Prowl looks a little better wearing Skybites than Skybite does wearing, look at wearing Prowls. And I think they both look better wearing their own particular armor. But uh, you can do that. But yeah, neat little figures. Um, so my friend Jack was saying on Twitter that uh, it's funny that once Hasbro realizes that if you put the gimmick in the accessory and not have to work it into the figure, somehow it starts to work. Um... And like I said, I, I, would, I would love to have a bigger Skybite in the Cyberverse line. I would, uh, I know there's there's a bigger Jetfire coming because there's a Jetfire in this armor line. Uh, they announced uh, there's going to be a Ratchet coming in, I think, this size class. It's a Ratchet with a snowmobile and uh, a Shockwave with a satellite, which I believe is also one of these smaller figures with a kind of drone armor. 
um, I believe it was this size class. Could be wrong, they could be bigger, but it, from looking at it, it looked like it was this type of armor. So those would, those would attach as well. So we'll see how far the line goes. I'm looking forward, like the, the elite class figures, I'm definitely wanna get Optimus and Megatron. Megatron comes with the helicopter armor, uh, Prime with the jet. Bumblebee with a battleship, maybe, just because the base Bumblebee looks good. Um, and then Cheetor comes with a version of the battleship, which apparently is going to be a Target exclusive. So check your targets if you want Cheetor. Um, and who knows what else we'll get. But there is Cyberverse Spark Armor Prowl with Cosmic Patrol.